Good Saturday afternoon. It is 2.18 p.m. July the 1st, and I've got a really big story to share. You already saw the title and thumbnail, so you know where I'm going with this. To start with, obviously, I'm not in the hauler this week. Truck Series is off. I was supposed to be arriving in Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway about right now for an ASA race that goes on tomorrow, but the driver of that of the team I was going to be pulling for, he decided to pull out of the race uh, Thursday afternoon, and I just I found out about it Thursday afternoon, rather. So here I'm at home, and I was tossing around the idea of, of what to do this weekend content-wise, and I finally decided that if, if something came up, I would do something. If it didn't, I, I wouldn't. So that came up last night, scrolling through Facebook, and I see an article. I almost passed right back. I've seen a couple articles before uh, in, in, that were geared towards We Hope for a Days of Thunder sequel. Well, this article was a little different. I had to click on it. And it said, Tom Cruise... And whomever else would be involved, I'm not a movie buff, have a sequel to Days of Thunder in development. In development means they're scouting locations, they're assembling the uh, key cast, they're working a budget, and getting the basic plot line down, writing a script. Days of Thunder had a lot to do with how much I got into racing as a kid. Lucky for me, I live very local, like just a few minutes down the road, to some pretty cool key locations from days of thunder. And so I went out to one of those special locations this morning to film a short little video about what a sequel might look like, who might be in it and what their roles might be. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Let's check it out. So a sequel to days of thunder. We want to know what would that look like? What would that sound like? What would that feel like? What would the eye test be? Now it's not a big secret that the movie days of thunder closely follows the plot line of top gun. And if you consider it from that point of view, that brings up a lot of interesting possibilities. Because in the sequel to Top Gun, Tom Cruise is a mentor to the child of his friend Goose, who died in the first movie. And in the movie Days of Thunder, Michael Rooker's character, Rowdy Burns, has kids. And they kind of developed a friendship towards the end of the movie, at least a mutual respect towards the end of the movie. So that opens up some possibilities. I don't think it's... Um, I don't feel like uh, Cole Trickle's character would have kids, but who knows? Who knows what they would go with this? Um, the other question is age. Uh, the movie takes place, the original movie takes place in the early 1990s, and in those years, Cup Series rookies were usually in their early 30s. However, his character was based loosely on Tim Richmond. Tim Richmond ran his first Cup Series race just after his 25th birthday, so it's not too terribly implausible to think that Cole Trickle could be in his mid-50s. There have been quite a few drivers who have run into their 50s. Harry Gant won his uh, last race at age 52. Richard Petty retired at 53. Darrell Waltrip retired in his early 50s. However, Darrell Waltrip ran his last truck series race when he was two years shy of 60. So does the movie Days of Thunder 2, <clears throat> does it take place in the Craftsman truck series? Maybe, maybe Roddy Burns' character has kids that's coming up the ranks. Does, does Cole Trickle's character drive in the movie? Who knows? But there's a lot of interesting plot lines that, that are possible. Another question comes up is, uh, you know, the, the, first, the first movie, a lot of the scenes in the first movie are taken from real life events. What real life events over the last 20, 30 years did they put in this movie? There's definitely, there's the storylines, there, there's so many that have come up in the last 30 years. They could, they could make probably 10 movies. The next big question, which actors return from the first movie for the sequel? Um, you have, obviously, Robert Duvall is in his 90s now, so he probably is, he's probably out of the question. Michael Rooker is definitely a possibility. He's still, he's still, do, he's still acting, but in what capacity would he, would he make an appearance? Carrie Ellis. Carrie Ellis was the, uh, was the, kind of the, uh, the antagonist of the movie. And I'm not sure how he fits into a sequel, but I feel like he definitely, possibly make an appearance his age is, is, is right for it John C. Riley. John C. Riley's done other racing movies he was in Talladega Nights and he definitely could make an appearance it's been a long time since John C. Riley has done a big movie that was or uh, had a big role that was serious he's done a lot of comedy films uh, since since Days of Thunder I think the most likely returning returning cast members would be obviously Tom Cruise Carrie Elwes Michael Rooker uh, and John C. Riley. Uh, who knows who else they bring in? They probably bring in some NASCAR drivers. You know, the, the original film had a lot of cameos from NASCAR drivers. The, the possibilities for a good plot, I think, are pretty pretty wide open. And if 
if there is ever a casting call in the Charlotte area for people in the race, for people in the racing industry to come be a part of that movie, you better believe that I will be sending in my audition. Now the movie is just in development. Some movies never get out of development, and the process after development can take one to two years. So we may not see a movie for another couple of years, but I wanted to share that with you guys today. Since I'm not at the racetrack, I, this is one thing I can do this racing related in Days of Thunder. When I was a kid, I was about six years old when it came out, and that movie was pretty instrumental in me being a race fan. I, my mother actually will give me a hard time today about this, about how often she, I watched the movie so much she finally banned it in my house. She was, I was not allowed to watch Days of Thunder anymore. Um, and to this day, if I start playing the intro music in my head, I can actually recite that entire movie without watching a single thread of it. Um, I'm not sure if that's something to be proud of or embarrassed about, but it is a fact. And so I feel like a sequel could do the same thing for, for young NASCAR fans today. There's, uh, you know, F1 had their, had their big Netflix docuseries that really, really spurred on a lot of popularity for F1 in the U.S. NASCAR needs something like that, and maybe the opportunity is right. Maybe the time's right. Anyhow, that's all I got. Wanted to share that with you guys today. Everyone have a good week. I will see you next week at the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course. Thanks for watching.